Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2024 Volkswagen Tiguan SELR line, 4 motion. This particular one is opal white pearl effect on the exterior with noise set brown and black leather interior. It features keyless entry on all four doors, an LED running light across the front on each side, an LED light bar that goes up to the logo right here. It's kind of hard to see in the daylight now, but there's an LED light bar going across there. A front camera here, 360 camera overall. Piano black finish down here on the air intakes for the R-Line front end with a splash of chrome on each side right here and here. And then also a little bit of chrome down here beneath this piano black uh, rib right there. Very nice. Power folding mirrors on this one. Keyless entry on two doors. R-Line flare on the front quarter panels. 20 inch machine black alloy wheels. Body color paint below the chrome line. That nice sharp line down the side from the R-Line badge goes into the door handles and into the tail lights. Integrated turn signals in the mirrors. Silver roof rails, silver window surrounds, LED tail lights as well. That body color paint goes into the back bumper where you have integrated faux quad exhaust tips on the back here. They're just looks, guys. This one also has a black bumper dealer hood to protect against scuffs. Tiguan nameplate right here, right below the VW logo. It says SEL off to the left, four motion off to the right. That's how you know it's all-wheel drive. Panoramic, panoramic sunroof is standard on this car. Let's take a look at the gorgeous inside. So we open this up here. Here's that noise set brown right here. Three contrast stitches here, contrast stitch down here on the arm pad, silver tips on the window switches, and this wood grain pattern up here. It's not actual wood grain, wood, wood, but it's a wood grain pattern up here at the top. There's also an ambient light you can see running through here at night. Fender audio for your premium audio. Scuff plate down here in the door plate or the door sill. It says R right here. It's backlit white. Can't see that during the day, but it actually lights up white. Three seat memory here, power lumbar, forward back up and down here, seat back adjust right here. Gray piping on the seat here. It's a whitish gray. And then you have a contrast stitch right here. This is a leather seat that's heated and ventilated. Super comfortable. The contrast stitch goes behind the shoulders here. And also the headrest here is brown and black with a contrast stitch here and an adjustable button right here. The arm pad trimmed out in leatherette with the contrast stitch there. There's a look at your two outboard seats there. Gray piping on those as well. That center seat is leatherette. As we go and climb in here, here's a look at your digital cockpit here. There are three main views for this guy. So there is the dial screen, there is the wide screen, and there is the crop screen. So what I'm gonna do, so you can see that a little better, see what I'm talking about. There I'm gonna put nav over there. So you do have navigation on here. You're gonna hit the nav button, then the little arrow here, the three little lines. Check the box to display over here. And it's right here. So there is that crop screen, there is the dial screen, and there is the wide screen. So you have that there. Uh, you do also have a long press that you can do on the view button here, and it gives you the classic view, view one, view two, view three kind of setup here. So you can actually go through them that way as well instead of hitting the view button each time. So uh, I'm gonna go back to that one there. Nope, I'm gonna go back to auto and have it close up. Oh, and I have to hit close. That helps. There you go. So you've got that screen there, and I'm going to go back to my wide screen again because that's my favorite. Fuel gauge is over here to the right. Temperature gauge off to the left. The fuel gauge, each of those bars disappears as you consume fuel. Right now, that's a full tank. When you get down to that last bar, it turns red. Then when it's critical, it starts flashing for you. You do have automatic headlights, but I turned them on so you could see. So you could actually see. Um, the uh, LED light bar on there. Vents up above here, right across here and over to the other side. You do also have a little storage bin right here. Up here on top, this has an auto dimming home link mirror right here with three door garage door memory and a digital compass right there. A vanity mirror on each side with an LED light. You have the dark colored headliner here and a black headliner. Here's your buttons here to open the sun, or the sun shade I should say. That sun shade goes all the way back revealing this beautiful, ginormous, panoramic sunroof. This button here opens the sunroof. I'm not gonna open it today, we're gonna drip water in if I open that up when it tilts. 
so I'm not gonna mess with that. Then you have to have that uh, wood grain pattern over here as well. And in the glove box here, there's your manuals, your tire warranties and what have you right there. Back to the radio though, we're gonna go AM, FM and satellite on this one. It does also do gesture control. Anytime you see that little hand right there, wave your hand in front of that and there's your gesture control there. So you can go right or left. 36 presets, doesn't matter if they're AM, FM, or satellite, it marries them all together there for you so you're not searching. You don't have to change a band to go to that band's presets. Pretty cool. You do also have the station list set up here where you can see every station that's visible to your antenna here and you can pick one that way. That's help helpful when you're traveling uh, and then you can arrow back out of that. And then of course your sources here, AM, FM, satellite, my media, um, and then you have internet and Bluetooth. So you have all of those different settings there. Um, the backup camera on this one, the shifters backlit first of all, so you can see what gear you're in here. And then you also show it up here. There's your backup camera there. You have trajectory steering. You turn the wheel left, you turn the wheel right. The line moves accordingly. Uh, and then the green line signifies straight back. The yellow line uh, is your trajectory. And then uh, the red line signifies where your bumper is or where your hatch will hit. Um, you do I have climate control here that's capacitive touch the steering wheel is capacitive touch too I didn't go over that but you have your volume control right here you just swipe to the right to go up and swipe to the left to go down your um, safety features let me do that real quick um, tip of the stalk here there's a little button for that lane assist I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on I also have uh, adaptive cruise control regular cruise control side assist uh, rear traffic alert and then also front assist on this one so push the button on the tip here to turn that off back over here to that radio or right below the radio here your climate control over here this capacitive touch your heated seat starts on high then medium then low then off same with your ventilated seat on each side so I'm gonna go ahead and turn those off I'm gonna leave the heated seat on and turn the ventilated seat off so you have that on each side you also have this swipe here for your fan speed and then also the temperature you can swipe this way or swipe this way to adjust your temperature as well. Um, your menu button here brings up this guy on the screen here where you can touch on the screen in case you enjoy putting fingerprints on your touch screen. You can do it this way. You do also have all your vent setups right here. Um, you can also bring it up down here uh, and select. See it sliding down right there. So I'll go back to radio. Now I'm back to radio. Um, you do also get wireless charging down here. Here's your charge pad right here. You just set your phone down there on the pad. It'll charge through the case. In most cases, unless you have an otter box or a, um, a well, in the thick otter box or a pop socket. Down here, there's two USB-Cs that are backlit, so you can see those. And then also, there's a 12-volt charger port right there as well. Down here, here's your start button to start the car. Um, by the way, you can see the stainless steel pedal caps there. Uh, and I'm wearing boring socks today. Um, but the footrest is is stainless steel also the two pedals being an R-line and speaking of an R-line The steering wheel has this sport grip right here and the R-line badge at the bottom of it So uh, back to over here that push button start right here. Here's your e-brake lift up on to activate that guy You put your foot on the brake and push down to release All-wheel drive so you're gonna have this knob here. You have a snow mode You also have eco normal sport and custom which I can push the button right here and change that without getting fingerprints on the screen or if I enjoy the fingerprints I can just do it this way most people are going to do eco or normal um, and then you do also have off-road and off-road custom and off-road custom is going to allow you to tweak these different things turn on and off hill descent control hill start assist park assist uh, on or off um, and then uh, all-wheel drive system you can have off-road or normal and then you also have normal or sport on steering and then you also have on drivetrain, off-road or normal. Uh, ACC, you got sport, eco, or comfort uh, in addition to normal. And then uh, for climate control, normal or eco. So you've got all these different things here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back to the roadway there. So I'm back in that mode. Um, the cup holder here, stadium seat style cup holder. This one's taller than this one here so your lids aren't bumping each other on the way back from the drive-through. You have storage here for coins, maybe an ink pen or something there. A look at your key fob you still have the old school key fob here that has the VW on the back super slender sits uh, fits in your pocket nice doesn't take up all the space especially if you're wearing skinny jeans uh, panic alarm on the side lock here unlock here rear hatch release here and the uh, remote start button right there 
Now you can remote start this car from your phone, just like uh, any of the 2020 or newer Volkswagens, um, if your car is equipped with remote start, factory equipped. Uh, and then you have your auto start stop shut off here. Park assist, so this car will actually park itself. Uh, so it's telling me to shift into uh, a gear or shift into reverse and turn on a turn signal We're not going to demonstrate that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and then there's your 360 camera So it shows an overhead view here. I can actually touch the right side the left side the nose the back and if you notice this camera is changing uh, and touch the roof and then I'm back to overhead here uh, So I turn that guy off as well Power folding mirrors if I didn't mention that storage right here it's deep storage but it's not a huge storage bin there passenger seat over here is power power forward and back and up and down right there and seat back adjust right there bottle and cup storage right there let's take a look at the back seat okay this one here comes in at 41 399 extras on this one include 395 for the opal white pearl paint 405 for the auto dimming home link mirror 296 for monster mats 275 for a third year of prepaid maintenance 173 for a bumper dillo protection plate and 1350 for destination brings you to 41 399 so you open the back here and you look at that wheel there such a sexy looking wheel that brown continues back here with a three three contrast stitch bands right here and then a single one right here bottle and cup storage there over here on this side dude this is a great car for an uber if you're Ubering or something like that, <laughs> and you need something fancy, this is a car for you, all right? There's a pocket for storage here, pocket here. It's still classy and elegant, but it gives you the space you need. There's a look at the vents there, and then you also have a USB-C connection here, and a three-prong plug-in right there, if I can get that popped off, there you go. And a little storage cubby right here. Here's a look through from the back to the front. Lots of leg room here. There's your adjustable headrest. I'm sorry, <laughs> your panoramic sunroof again. I'm leaning back on the adjustable headrest when I'm talking about it. Sorry about that, guys. You can't see that. There's your adjustable headrest right there. The adjustable one in the middle as well. Fold down armrest here, all trimmed out in black. It's squishy yet firm. Car seat hookups here and also over here on this side. This also doubles as a pass through. Push that button right there and this seat folds down. Steel plate reinforcing in the back here. Top tether hookup at the back. The other two seats have the same top tether hookup here as well. Stain, uh, steel plate reinforced on the back of those seats as well. So in the event you're in a crash, cargo in the back doesn't drive into the seat and injure people in the seat. My leg room is spectacular here. I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to open the door a little bit here so you get some more light. Look at the leg room that I have here. Quite a bit of it. Um, so leg room, I've got at least six to eight inches of knee space right there. Here's a look at your wheel again right there. And on the back here, right between the G and the U, open this guy up. There's your power lift gate. Here's a look through from the back to the front. Giant panoramic sunroof there. Very nice. Cargo blocks right here. Front license plate bracket right there. The monster mats here underneath the cargo protection floor, carpet floor here. There's a nested uh, cargo cover, a privacy cover for this one. And right there is your quick release. It says fender right there, subwoofer. You remove that to get to your spare. Jack apparatus is off to the side. There's a 12 volt charger port there. You do also have seat pulls in your Tiguan. A lot of people don't know these exist. There's a bag hook right here. The seat pull here, if I pull this guy, that seat goes forward. I just push it down and click in place. Same with this side over here. I pull, click it down in place and you've got cargo. This is your adjustable hitch button or hitch close button right there or hatch close excuse me this car will come with a four year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen four years 50,000 miles and includes three years of included maintenance on this car also if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's we're gonna give you an additional three years of, of free maintenance so your 30 40 50 and 60,000 mile oil changes are all covered as well all the way up you won't pay for an oil change till you hit 70,000 miles also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm going to give you an additional 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. That's correct. You can fly in and drive out. I'll pick you up at the airport. If you're interested in this car, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257.
I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Reese Sells Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a great day.